It is a terrible time to be a cinephile. All of these big blockbuster movies are bombing. They're bombing harder than Rob Schneider at a college campus. And that's why yesterday I asked you why? Why are movie theaters dying? Here are your number one highest grossing answers. Because they won't let me give the whole theater my very good and funny commentary <laughs> during the movie. Yes. What if everyone did that? In the theater, everyone just channeled their inner nostalgia critic. Welcome to Harry Potter. This is a great, 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 great job, you Marvel. Yeah. Movie theaters are dying because the popcorn buckets are being sold more than actual movie tickets. I have a different take. I think they're making the popcorn buckets too sexy. Like, I want to f*** the popcorn buckets too much and that's affecting ticket sales. And I think we need to reprioritize the movie over the concession stand merchandise. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But when I see a popcorn bucket, the first thing that crosses my mind shouldn't be, hmm, wood. That's a weird reaction to have to a popcorn bucket. It was cute the first time. And then Deadpool, as he often does, has driven it into the ground. It's no longer cute. Now it's concerning. Now it's like, great, it's a trend, good job. That's my hot take on movie theater popcorn buckets, all right? Thank you. No, stop, thank you, please, please, thank you. I'm seeing a lot of this in the chat. Huh? I am not Googling that. That's fine, I'll Google it for you. Wolverine popcorn bucket. Yeah, there it is, hold on, let me make sure. <laughs> I, I always forget that I have React Bot in this window too. Okay, but this is what I'm talking about. This right here, this is the Wolverine Deadpool popcorn bucket. React Bot, tell the world what you think about the Wolverine popcorn bucket. They need to touch grass. I agree. Truer words have never been spoken. They absolutely need to touch grass. Thank you very much. But enough about popcorn buckets that I want to stick my junk into. Let's talk more about why movie theaters are dying. No more Ice Age sequels. That'll fix it. That'll fix it. Ice Age 7, medieval times. They haven't done a medieval one yet, right? Why not? We did dinosaurs. We did aliens, I think. Now let's do medieval times. Scrat becomes a knight. I don't know. Fuck it. Who cares? Didn't that company like die? I think the Ice Age company died forever. I forget what they were called. There's no way to know. <laughs> blue Sky. Yeah, yeah, the sky is blue. But what was the company called? What was the name of the company that made Ice Age? <laughs> That's a cool who's on first bit. Blue Sky. Yeah, of course the sky is blue. But what's the name of the company that made all them damn scrap movies? <laughs> There's just too much <laughs> movie. After my ads. Agreed. Everyone always complains that there are only 30 minutes of trailers and coming attractions before the big Marvel movie. But what if there were 90 minutes of it and then the big Deadpool 3 movie? I think that would vastly enhance the theater going popcorn munching experience. That's one of my biggest complaints about YouTube too. Right when the ads are over, the video starts and I'm like, no, I was having fun with those cool Geico ads. More of that, please. Oh my God, mid-roll ads during movies. Just to make sure that you're not falling asleep during the movie, they need to jolt you awake. More trailers and just commercials louder than the volume of the actual movie you're watching. I think that is a very bright future. Here's why they're dying. They're dying because there's nobody in the corner of the screen <laughs> pointing up and nodding. That's why. That's why, yes, this would save movie theaters forever. Someone occasionally like pointing or, or like doing that stupid TikTok thing where they're like, maybe even occasionally uh, just dropping some real wisdom like, like this if you're watching in 2025. <laughs> Wait, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing if a little dude in the corner just prompts people to like the movie that they're watching. Oh, God damn it. That would save cinema. We did it. You know what? I'm convinced. We saved theaters forever with that. Ooh, Dave writes, they charged me $30 for a veggie burger in the Alamo Draft House. The only way to justify a $30 veggie burger was if it came in a bucket that prompted you to stick your junk in it. Like, Jesus Christ, the floors are not sticky enough. What theaters are you going to where the floors aren't sticky enough? That's never been a problem for me because people are instead watching the latest nine hour video essay on the failure of movie theaters. Now that shit I would watch instantly. I made a tweet the other day that was a bit of a hot take and I think it got flamed on pretty harshly because I was talking about like why are movie theaters dying? I don't know. Maybe it's because people don't want to deal with rising ticket prices when they can watch a four hour video on the fall of a Star Wars themed hotel for free. And people did not like that tweet at all. Understandably so. It wasn't my best tweet, but 
I make zero apologies. That point kind of rings true in this answer here because there is an appeal for the nine hour video essay. Like I watched that four hour Star Wars hotel video. I watched that over like the course of a week on the treadmill, you know, just to like do while doing something. And it was like the perfect length. So there's an absolute like niche for that, for the multi-hour video essay. And that becomes exponentially more appealing if said video essay is about the downfall of the modern movie theater. I would absolutely watch that. That sounds juicy. Erm, um, that sounds like some hot tea, sis. Oh, that fucking sucked. Uh, I'm sorry. That was a terrible bit. I don't know. Leave it in anyways, editor, so that I can learn from it. But I would absolutely watch that video essay on the fall of uh, movie theaters. The experience was never the same after Pee Wee Herman got arrested. Wow. Yeah, what'd he do? What'd he do? It's a crime to enjoy oneself in the movie theater? Yeah, honestly, that was a... That was a rough day for patrons. I don't know how much more I want to say. Yeah, he did find himself in a sticky situation, which is ironically one of the React bot phrases. Let's see if he says the sticky situation one. I don't think he will. How would you describe the, the Pee Wee Herman movie theater incident? Misa like what I'm seeing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course he would. No times two speed run option. Do you, do you know how long movies are? Honestly, we can absorb all the same data being thrown at us times two or maybe even times three. That's how we save theaters. Just have some show times play the movie at times two speed. Aren't you the least bit curious to see what that's like to watch a feature length movie in half the time so you're you're home earlier. God, everyone wins. Plus, it's going to satiate your curiosity because I know, I know it's through the roof right now. I want to watch Deadpool at times two speed. That would be great. I'll, I'll miss all the Easter eggs. I'll probably get like half the jokes. I'll definitely get most of the plot. Then I'm in home in time to watch something better on my phone in bed. That's the fucking future I want for America. Ever since sound was invented, movies have been so... <laughs> have been so overstimulating. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, what am I supposed to focus on? The visuals, the sounds, the crunch of the popcorn in my Wolverine bucket. Too many stimuli. Theaters need to tone those down. It should be pick two. You can't have all three. Oh my God, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's everyone who said Subway Surfers. Got it. I can't read any of this, right? There's so many, but it's labeled subway.png. So I have to assume. There you go. This picture gives it away. Wait, that's an amazing picture. Let me zoom in on that picture. <laughs> Yes. This is the future I want for movie theater. <laughs> yes. First off, movie theaters should play two separate movies simultaneously <laughs> with Subway Surfers and with uh, TikTok NPCs with the dude in the corner commentating every so often, if not just, you know, gesturing loudly. Why watch movies on theater? We can watch it for free in 50 parts of YouTube shorts. Has anyone done that? Has anyone uploaded a feature length movie in YouTube shorts so that you just have to keep swiping every 59 seconds? I think that's a great way to do it. Well, you know, TikTok is testing 60 minute long TikTok, 60 minute long videos in TikTok. And at first I was like, hell no, that'll never catch on. And then the more I thought about it, the more I realized, wait a minute, this could be the new like discovery method. Instead of sitting in front of Netflix, trying to go over like what movie to watch, and you're just bombarded uh, with the paralysis of choice. What if that is the future? You just fire it up and the algorithm is like, you're probably gonna wanna watch this four part limited series on the murder of so-and-so. You're gonna wanna watch this documentary on um, the rise and fall of Ashley Madison. Maybe that is the future. So I'm not gonna poo poo TikTok testing out the 60 minute video. This isn't funny. None of this is funny. This is too introspective. I'm sorry, you didn't come here for analysis and discussion. You came here for incest jokes. And, um, uh, and that's, you came here for incest jokes and by God, I'm going to give it to you. Let's keep going. And finally, the real reason movie theaters are dying. I don't know. I just work here. Enjoy your movie. Oh, that's a fun visual. Just someone screaming frantically at, you know, some poor usher working the midnight shift at some movie theater. And what if you play movies at, at two X speed? And this poor guy's like, D dude, leave me alone. This is what I call a little switcheroo of an answer. A real got him POV kind of one. Please don't badger the staff members of, a, of your local movie theater on ways to sell more tickets. They could not give two folks. They like the rest of us are just trying their best. We did it, Reddit. We single-handedly saved cinemas, and in doing so, the medium of cinema. I am now allowing this entire comment section to go ahead and like your own comment. You've earned it, champ. No, really, go ahead, 
like your own comment so click here to whatever i'm still really fixed on that 2x speed option i want to see that i would unironically pay money to watch a movie at 2x or 2.5x or possibly even 3x its original speed just to see what the experience is it would probably get old uh, after the first three 